Dear friend, it is always a gift to be able to connect with you in this way. In the last forecast of energy, I mentioned that we would leave March completely differently from how we entered. If you pay close attention to the inner and outer world, it is likely to have noticed that, whether subtle or not so subtle, great changes are taking place in your life and the world. These changes were very supported by celestial alignments that occurred last month. Where are we now? Although there has been a lot of movement and action in March, there was also a lot of uncertainty, instability and what looked like a door closing everywhere. If you have experienced over the last until the end of March you had glimpses of clarity, stability and opportunities to advance. A new Earth Network Now we are in a special window of time where we will anchor and materialize the new Earth grid in quantum leaps. This has been set in motion for decades by many way showers, healers, psychics and light workers. We are very grateful to those who paved the way so that we're all here now. Although the new Earth network has taken decades in creation, there is a line of very concentrated time over the coming months which, if used, will help to materialize a major leap in the consciousness of humanity. This will also be presented in a way that will unite us with our soul tribes. This tribe Alma reflect to us a sense of home and security. It is important to be attentive to people who come into our lives in the coming months because many of them will be a part of the tribe of Alma that will help us connect more with the New Earth Network. The Newfoundland Network is the golden thread of love and divine logic, which is building a strong and firm foundation of the New Earth Matrix, now rising from every corner of the planet. How to connect to a New Earth Network There are many ways to connect with the New Earth Network. The most simple fast and effective way will be highlighted in this forecast authenticity and transparency one of the most effective things we can do to instantly connect with the new earth network is to be completely honest first with ourselves and then with the world around us the first step is to do a quick inventory of where in our lives we are being completely honest authentic transparent and that other areas can benefit by having more of these qualities be honest and authentic is not to be confused with being intentionally cruel, rude or harmful, especially the way we deliver our truth. The recent behavior has no place in the New Earth Network. Some simple questions that we can do to help evoke a greater authenticity are, what are the things that matter most in my life? And, who am I when I express free and fully from the heart? When what really is healing? Often, when cured in an apparent imbalance in our lives, a great burden that had occupied our attention is taken from our energy. Although the spirit like to travel lightly, mind, sometimes it takes a little more time to be convinced simply because she has become used to burdens she carried. There are different levels of disposal, especially when it comes to cure. For many people, it is not until your thoughts are increasingly uncomfortable when they are ready and willing to heal and give the stories that they have identified for so long. These are the stories that the mind uses to reinforce the idea that it is impaired or lacking in any way. Essentially, these are the stories that create a victim consciousness slash survival, which is actually the lower aspect of the consciousness of humanity. However, we are at an extraordinary moment now, where we no longer identify or act on from the victim consciousness. We have the opportunity to change our lines of personal and collective time so that we can really begin to act from the most imponderata and sovereign part of ourselves. This is also known as our aspect of the spirit slash goddess slash god slash higher self. So the question becomes are we really willing and ready for healing? That is, we are willing to give up the dramatic patterns, insecurities, histories, fear, worry, lack, addiction, guilt, self-sabotage, guilt, or any other behavior that affirm the victim consciousness? Once we get a yes interior, we can then start asking questions like, who am I outside the limiting stories that my mind is identified? What steps am I willing to take to find it? If you are finding that is not healing as quickly as you like, the cure just being another word to remember the fullness, perfection and plenty that were in and around you, all the time, so invite your mind to reflect on how this can still be identified with the old victim consciousness. The mind can immediately resist, and think something like, I do not want the old patterns. I really want the cure. However, question it. Asked do you really want a cure? 
because, clearly, you're still finding comfort in the old discomfort. Once you begin to question your mind in this way, it will begin to illuminate parts of the brain where asleep. These are the parts that allow more wisdom and insights will, clearly, aim unconditional form. The idea of love has gone through many misinterpretations in most societies. We learn through religions, doctrines, the media and traditions, so we experience love, we have to worry about it, look for it outside of ourselves, sacrific karma was for it, we experience pain and grief with he suffered for it, give up things that we want to have it, we believe that it is conditional and so on. True love is not always easy, unconditional, expansive, joyful, eternal, firm and without judgment. It is simply the way people interpreted the wrong way of the love that created the illusion that it is less than these qualities. Over the coming months, one of the most important things we can do to connect with the new earth network is to rediscover what is really love and then begin to raise ourselves in love. First, with ourselves and then with the world around us. For generations, most of humanity has learned what is wrong we love and honor in the same way that we should love and honor others. This tradition is actually one of the main reasons why humanity since ceased to know the divinity of who we really are. We were taught to seek outside ourselves the answer when she was in every fiber of our being, all the time. Thank God these days are ending quickly and people are understanding more and more that in order to be more expanded version, open, happy and loving ourselves in the world, we must first begin to love each other truly. For the mind, this may not come easily, simply because we have not been taught how to love ourselves. So we can ask some questions such as, how unconditional love treat me? He was incorporated into a person and, how can I open myself to be this person? I invite him to make a list of all the ways that an unconditionally loving person would treat. The she would be generous, kind, non-judgmental, fun, playful, respectful. The she would make her feel seen, heard, appreciated. She would bring her gifts, sing for you, would take it in special nature walks. And, of course, the list goes on. It is always wonderful to connect with a partner Alma of our tribe Alma, someone who can reflect these qualities for us. However, in order for this to happen the way we really want, we must begin to show us how our own soulmate first. Seeing Signs From now until September, some of the biggest changes in our lives and in the world also have the opportunity to be some of the most incredibly beautiful. If we are someone who allowed the mind to remain focused on all the things that are not working in our lives, we can at the time lose these experiences that are happening right under our nose. But if we make a conscious decision to be genuine and loving, as often as we can, while being committed to our inner journey of healing, so get ready for the party of many lies begins, convocation. On 15th April, I will be in the United States, in New York facilitating a global cure for every living thing on our planet, in the center of which is the world diplomacy. We all know that things should continue to change and evolve in order to emerge a new day, so that all mankind to unite as a family. Together, we are making a lot of progress in raising the consciousness of humanity and important events like this in the United Nations, will expand everything we have achieved and anchor a deep healing in the hearts of every living being on the planet. If you want to receive and participate in the deep healing that will be taking place on this special day, simply select the day and time of the event on your calendar April 15th at 13.11 p.m., U.S. Eastern Time, New York. During this period, please take a break for a few minutes and send a clear intention to the universe that their presence is included in the overall healing and activation of unconditional love and the light that will be taking place at this time, for all mankind. This will be one of the biggest things that you and I have done together. Please share it widely with your friends and family so we can ensure that all those who wish to experience and contribute to more peace, joy, love, healing and abundance for all, have the opportunity to do it now. Until next time, miraculously his. Emmanuel.